Hello everybody, Joe Marquez here once again from Sons of Technology to showcase some new features or tools that you may not know are available or exist. One of these tools that I'm gonna showcase for you, you, you may know is already available, and that's adding audio to Google Slides. Now, first off, why would you want to add audio to a Google Slide Deck? Well, not for adding you know, special effects during transitions or anything like that. The reason you would wanna add audio to a Google Slide Deck is to add an, an accessibility feature to students who maybe have difficulty reading because they're younger or they're just learning to read, or maybe they have a visual impairment where they need the slide read to them. Now, adding this audio is you know pretty easy except when you click on it it doesn't allow you to create the audio right out of the slide deck so you'd have to create it with the you know on your device audio creator or you'd have to um, do something else and, and and you know your students may not know how to do this or you may not know how to do this so I'm going to show you an easy way to utilize screencastify to add audio directly to your slide decks now the slide deck that I'm going to be using is a template called Sketch and Tell that you could find off the edgeofprotocols.com website created by John Carippo and Marlena Hebern. Now these are some great tools that you can utilize in your classroom every single day. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my Screencastify icon. Now I'm not going to be recording my screen. All I'm going to really be caring about is my microphone. So go ahead and leave it on the browser tab and just make sure your microphone is turned on. Now I'm going to go ahead and select record. When I select record, it's going to go ahead and give me a countdown. Three, two, one. Now, anything that I say here is going to be recorded. Now, yes, it's also going to be recording the screen, but that's not what we're going to be caring about. So what I would say is, welcome students. This is our sketch and tell directions. The first thing I want you to do is go and claim a slide with your student number, adding that to your slide. You're then going to go ahead and add a diagram chart or illustration on the slide and label that sketch and then use the provided Google tools and graphic organizers that you'll find on the slide to go ahead and create those images. Then once you are done with your sketch, on the right hand side, you're going to tell us what you just did by writing a paragraph and explaining what you've done and what you chose to include. And remember to make sure you provide evidence to explain your thought process. Now, once I'm done with those directions, all I do is on my Screencastify, I just click Stop. Now, that's gonna open up the Screencastify. Now, if you've used Screencastify in the past, you, you'll, you'll understand this screen. This is gonna bring up what you just recorded. Now, I mean, at, at the, the highest level, Screencastify is meant to screencast your screen. But in recent updates in the, uh, the, the early days of February this year, they've added a lot of great features that you can do now um, in the free version of Screencastify. Uh, number one is that you can cut and edit right out of your Screencastify, which is great. You can cut the beginning and you can cut the end. What we are doing right now, though, is it automatically saves this video and audio to your Google Drive, but now all we want is the audio. So all I do is select Export Audio Only. And you'll see at the bottom of my screen, it'll export that at just audio. And the cool thing about this is it does it and it downloads right to your Google Drive. So you don't have to do anything else. Now you go back to your directions. You select insert audio. And I'm going to select most recent because it's going to bring up the most recent. And there it is. There is my most recent recording. I'm going to go ahead and hit select. And you'll see that it creates audio and it creates a button right next to your directions. And notice it's the same length as the video that we recorded, 48 seconds. So it is the entirety of the recording, but just the audio portion. Now, when you hand this out to students, they can now, if they can't read or if they have difficulty reading because of, once again, visual impairments, they can now click on the play button is going to be recorded. Now, yes, it's also going to be recording the screen, but that's not what we're going to be carrying. So notice everything that we said that was recorded in the video of Screencastify, we just pulled out with the audio of Screencastify. And once again, this is a free version of Screencastify that we are using. It is not the upgraded, uh, upgraded version. So now you can easily create audio 
from Screencastify. It automatically saves right to your Google Drive. And then you just go insert audio and then choose recent and you can insert that audio directly into your Google slide. And yes, this is great for those accessibility features as a teacher, but it is also a great feature for students to utilize. So like if I am in my sketch and tell down here that my students have created, we have a great visual of what they're talking about. We can see that they're talking about erosion of a mountain. And then we have a great way for them to tell through text. But a lot of times, maybe the way that our students type isn't the best way for them to get that information out. So we can add an extra layer to this sketch and tell is by not only telling via text, but they can now tell via audio. So now we can have the kids either read what they were telling or explain in a different way what they were telling. And so now we have that audio component all of our students can now add to their media. Well, thank you so much for listening. I hope this kind of spark some um, some great interest and maybe some creative juices are now flowing You're like oh if if he can do it on this maybe I can do it here or do it here that is the great thing about technology and that is a great thing about educators and it's the great thing about you is that I may show one way to utilize this but the idea is now running through your head to use it in a variety of different ways so I hope that this has helped you I hope this has had allowed that creativity to start flowing and I would love 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 for you to tell us about this so if you could, please leave a comment below or definitely please join this channel um, so that you can see all of our future videos and then definitely share what we what you are doing with this on our YouTube channel or on our Twitter channel, which you can find us at Sons of Tech EDU or you can share it personally with me at Joe Marquez 70. Thank you so much and have a great day.